I'm Big Cal, and welcome to my world. In the previous pickups video, I mentioned that, well, I have a backlog of them, <laughs> a bunch of them that I need to do, and this is, of course, another recent video game pickups video. And also in the last video, I mentioned I went to two of my local retro stores. The previous video was showing off what I got from Doorway to Darkness, and in this one, I'm showing off what I got from Game & Movie in Sheffield, one of my favourite places. So, first up, I got uh, some demo discs. A whole bunch of them. Um, if you might have seen from the last couple of years, certainly when lockdown started, I really started getting into the demo discs. Got PS1, a bunch of them over here. A handful of PS2, a couple of GameCube uh, type ones. But yeah. So, I got some more PlayStation 2 ones. Firstly, there's the uh, PlayStation 2 Magazine DVD. And this one is basically a... Oh, uh, DVD uh, movie, so yeah, it, it doesn't actually have um, playable demos, just tons of uh, videos and reviews and things like that, and footage. So we got latest on Need for Speed Most Wanted, The Godfather, Gun, FIFA, Fight Night Round 3, Battlefield 2, Madden 06, Call of Duty 2, um, Hands-On Experience with Resident Evil 4, Ultimate Spider-Man, a whole bunch of others, reviews for Psychonauts, Fantastic Four, Dead to Rights 2, a few others, uh, some PSP games, and a couple of extras. So, yeah, um, pretty cool to have that. Um, yeah, and then, of course, two actual PlayStation Magazine demo discs. We have, let's see, doo -doo 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 -doo, number 26. Yeah, and uh, this comes with uh, playable demos of Tekken 4, Ratchet & Clank, Red Faction 2, Hitman 2, Burnout 2, Summoner 2, Ferrari F355 Challenge, Micro Machines, uh, Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex to celebrate it going platinum, and the game that I played for some footage of this, Superman Shadow of Apocalypse, which is utterly, utterly terrible. And then, of course, there were some videos showing off uh, upcoming games as well. And then we also have number 73. And this is uh, showing off some games like Tomb Raider Legend, Sonic Riders, FIFA Street 2, Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast, Hitman Blood Money, Super Monkey Ball Adventure, Ape Escape 3, Micro Machines version 4, Sensible Soccer, and the game that I chose to record footage of for this, Dragon Quest 8, The Journey of the Cursed King. And of course, some videos on SingStar Rocks and Messel Gear Solid. Messel Gear Solid. Um, yeah, I, I genuinely don't know if that's a thing, like a parody, or if they just literally spelt metal wrong on the back. <laughs> yeah. So, some uh, PlayStation 2 demos. Then I picked up a bunch of Xbox demos. And these are the first ones that I own. Although, a little disappointed with Game & Movie on this, because uh, some of them might say, like this one here, Game Disc 10, on the side, but the disc inside is demo disc number three. Yeah, and there's a couple that aren't uh, the, the correct ones. So, um, yeah, this one's supposed to have Splinter Cell, Sega GT-02, um, NFL-03, um, Death Row, um, their movies on Blinks and Raw, Panzer Dragoon Auto, uh, House of the Dead 3, Rocky, uh, but no, um, don't have any of those because it's a different disc. So I'll be showing footage of whatever was on disc 3 at this point in time. There we also have another one here, disc 37. Um, I genuinely don't know if this one's the right one or not because it doesn't tell you uh, on there. Let's have a look see what's on the back. Oh, Conquer Live and Reloaded. I believe I uh, recorded footage of that one for this. So, yeah, that's really cool to be able to play a bit of Conquer. Uh, we've got Otogi 2, Burnout 3, Takedown, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, The Incredibles, Tiger Woods 05. Some save files for the likes of Spider-Man 2, Driver 3, uh, Need for Speed Underground and more. As well as uh, what's really cool with uh, some of these Xbox demo discs is that they have, like, a huge catalogue of the reviews from the magazine and I think it was like over 400 of them on this particular one so you can just scroll down for pretty much any Xbox game you can think of that was out at the time 
Um, yeah, and you've got the uh, the full uh, review that you can sit and read on the Xbox. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we have another one here. It's supposed to be number 36. Is it number 36? Again, I can't really remember. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm, I don't quite recall playing any of these games on here, so it might be a different one. So again, not really sure what uh, footage is going to be shown on there. Yeah, another demo disc. And then we have supposedly number 54. Let's see, what was 54? Yes, I um, believe I recorded footage of this one. We got Driver Parallel Lines, that's what I played. Fight Night Round 3, uh, Commando, Strike Force. Um, yeah, Toka Race Driver 3. Um, ooh, some films of upcoming 360 games. That's when that was out. Over 650 reviews now on this disc. So, yeah, again, pretty cool. Some game saves as well, I think, on there. And um, we have number 26, I think. Right. Um, yep, this one was also the correct one. I played Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo. To record some footage, we also had uh, Deus Ex Invisible Raw, uh, Visible Raw, Visible War, um, uh, D&D Heroes, Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia, Sons of Time, NHL Rivals 04, a uh, bunch more stuff, um, and download con downloadable content for Splinter Cell. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool um, how we have stuff like that. Yeah, and lastly we have um, a DVD-ROM version, kind of like the, uh, the PlayStation 2 one there from Xbox Magazine, where it's just a bunch of movies, so you get to uh, get a look inside of uh, the upcoming... Um, live and reloaded uh, Conquer remake and things like that. We've got a special documentary on Grand Theft Auto, exclusive trailer for Scarface, and a bunch more. So, again, really, really fun. Um, oh, there's even some uh, playable demos uh, for a uh, PC game, I believe. Uh, yeah, for Lego Star Wars um, uh, Championship Manager. Yeah, so uh, interesting. Always like demo stuff. And then, even more demo discs. I know, crazy. This time, for the Dreamcast. I've got some uh, bundle of uh, the Dream On uh, Dreamcast ones. So we have one here with <laughs> not many playable demos on these compared to sort of other systems. PS1, for example, you'd usually get a bunch of demos on a disc for that. PS2 onwards, of course, you would get tons. Here we have... <gasps> Three playable demos. Tony Hawk Skateboarding. Um, yeah, uh, Code Veronica. Resident Evil. And uh, something else. <laughs> yeah, as well as some videos. So, cool. And we have another one here with um, ooh, eight demos and, and movies. So, I don't know how many. Uh, Soul Reaver, Rayman 2. Ooh, and a free complete game of Sega Swirl. Yeah, I'm sure that's uh, fantastic. And we've got ooh, six play all demos here. Uh, Ultimate Fighting Championship, Sega Extreme Sports, San Francisco Rush 2049, Railroad Tycoon 2, Tokyo Challenge 2, and uh, Sydney 2000, as well as a bunch of movies. Ooh, we've got another one here. Um, ooh, Buggy Heat, Soul Calibur, uh, Dynamite Cop, which was a blast to play, and I actually even tried to buy the game. I, I saw it pretty cheap on eBay, and I thought, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay for it. Unfortunately, the guy ended up refunding me because he realised that while the disc and the manual were, you know, proper and everything, um, original, the, uh, the, um, you know, the casing lay and things like in the back cover were in fact reproduction, and he'd sold it as being original, so he gave me a refund. And unfortunately, the next cheapest one is like £15 extra. So, that sucks. Right, then we also have um, Metropolis Street Racer on this one. Uh, Sydney 2000, Space Channel 5, which is very odd. Uh, Wacky Racers, which I had a blast playing through. And it's on my want list now for the, uh, for the Dreamcast. Yeah, then we have... Um, Looney Tunes Space Race on this. Again, another fun sort of karting racer game. Speed Devils. Oh my god, that's a fantastic game. I actually own that already. Really cool stuff. Army Men, Sarge's Heroes, uh, Toy Commander, 
yeah, Super Runabout and more. We've got Revolt, uh, kind of crappy racing game. Sega Worldwide Soccer 2000 uh, plus Crazy Taxi. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And lastly, uh, fun, uh, Wacky Racers again, Toy Commander, Super Magnetic Neo, an interesting 3D platformer, which I picked up um, a few months ago. Yeah, so those were the Dream On demo discs. Then I got some Game Boy Advance games that are actually from last year. Um, I think they were, anyway. Whatever the last um, DIY gaming box was that had Game Boy Advance, I bought a bunch of different games and then I sort of figured out, okay, what ones shall I put in the video? The other that make up the price. And these are the ones that were left over. So we have Nicktoons Racing first for the Game Boy Color. Um, yeah, uh, it's not very good, really. Um, really kind of crap, but it's a Game Boy Color game. Wasn't really expecting much, but Nick Toons racing and you get to play as uh, Rugrats characters, so that's cool. Then we have uh, Flintstones, Big Trouble in Bedrock. Um, crappy 2D platformer, really, based on the Flintstones. Didn't really have any fun with that. Then we have Looney Tunes, Back in Action. Um, I picked up the PlayStation 2 game in one of the earlier DIY gaming boxes. And it's a really fun 3D platformer, and this does a pretty good job of translating that onto handheld, where it's kind of like a, the isometric view over top view, and plays pretty well. Uh, I've actually had a bit of fun with that. And lastly, just because I, I was really interested to see what it was like on the Game Boy Advance, Simpsons Road Rage, the crazy taxi style game with the Simpsons. And all things considering, it looks and plays pretty well. Yeah. And lastly, for games that I bought there, this was a pretty big purchase, really. Uh, another Dreamcast game. I've been trying to buy a couple of the uh, higher-priced ones before they go up even more. And this one is Sword of the Berserk Guts' Rage. And, yeah, it's a really fun sort of... Um, almost a hack and slash, but for its time period. So it's not like a really fast paced like a God of War. It's a slower paced one. You know, it feels a bit heavier sort of thing. But it's still really, really fun and just gory as all hell. Um, yeah, so I had an absolute blast playing through this uh, just to record game footage. Um, I highly recommend picking it up now. I got it for £45, uh, which was considerably cheaper than what I saw it for at the retro gaming market in December. So I was very happy with that. It's a complete box, in good condition, plays fantastic. Yeah, really, really fun game. And lastly then, I uh, picked up two things that aren't games, but are video game related, well at least one of them is. Uh, first of all we have Star Wars Mandalorian Quiz Kit. Okay, and this, oh, the box, and then we've got a nice uh, metal tin there with uh, Mando and Grogu. And inside, of course, we have the uh, trivia cards. So, um, basically, how to play the game is, um, yeah, person picks a card, and then they choose whether they want the one-point question or the two-point question. The one-point question is known as the child. The two-point question is the Mandalorian. So, obviously, the one-point question is going to be easier. Uh, right, so, let's have a look. Um, this one here, the one point question is, how old is the child? A, 150, B, 50, or C, 5. If you've seen the show, you should know that. Well, the Mandalorian two point question is, what signet does the Mandalorian get on his right pauldron? The hell is a pauldron? <laughs> anyway, is it a mud horn? A Cryot Dragon or a Jawa? So, yeah, and of course, get the answers, they're upside down there. Um, so, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, it was my brother that basically sort of convinced me to grab them. It's like, oh, look at them, when you get them, then he was going to pay for them, and they ended up just getting bundled in with what I bought. But it's all right, they were cheap. Cheap, pretty cheap, cheap, cheap. So, I'll just put uh, that back in there. Inside. And then the other one is video game related and is the ultimate video game trivia set. So this one comes in a big beefy box 
open here. Comes in like an old uh, Atari cartridge or something. Right, uh -huh. we have a ton of cards here. That are... Yeah, let's just pick out. Uh, let's just grab a handful of these ones here. Right, so, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, two questions on each card. I don't think they're um, any diff any more difficult or anything. So the first one here is the playable character in a 1993 platformer of the same name, Cool Spot, was the mascot for which soft bra soft drink brand? I think we all know that one, don't we? And then <laughs> this one's even easier. With over 155 million units sold, what is the best-selling home console of all time? Yeah, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, but obviously very fun if you have gaming friends and you get together and want to do a little quiz. Right, so yeah, that was everything I got from Game and Movie Sheffield. Ton of demo discs, a handful of games, and some trivia quiz uh, cards. So I'm Big Cal. Thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of my pickups. Let me know if you've been to Game Movie recently, and let me know what you got. And I'll see you again next time.